What is up everyone? Welcome back to Naruto Online. Hope you guys are all doing well. For anyone who celebrated Thanksgiving this past week, hope it was great. I personally made some nice food with my family. It was pretty good. I did get a little sick as you will see when I introduced the CN Ninja. I was a little bit out of it then, which is why I like I, I wanted to record but my throat was just gone. But anyways, this is like the interesting transition week into December. We have like a weird event structure because half, basically like half the events came this week and then we're going to get like another half when it becomes December. So we're going to see even more events in here in just a couple days. And that's like on top of the events that are going to come out next week. So um, technically there's like three ninjas that got released this week. We just can't really see them yet, but it's Hashirama final battle who I believe is going to be in the infinite Tsukidomi spending event. I think they like changed the name to something for this one though, like some Christmas related one. Yeah so it's called the Christmas month rebate here and it's gonna be from December 1st to the 31st. It hasn't come out as you can see it's not in our actual event section here but I bet it's probably gonna contain Hashirama final battle. Now on top of Hashirama Final Battle, we also got two other ninjas here, Black Zetsu and Yahiko Frog Squad. Yahiko Frog Squad is going to be in the Christmas Advent Calendar, which comes also on December 1st. And in that event, it's going to give us like 80 of these frog packs for signing in. And you can choose between Konon Frog Squad, Nagato Frog Squad, or Yahiko Frog Squad. Now as for Black Zetsu, I actually have no idea what event he's in, so we're gonna have to see when he actually arrives here. But of course, speaking of new ninjas and things that have come out, we can't forget about CN because this week we got a new release ninja as well as quite a couple of leaks for things in the near future here. So the new ninja is actually Haku Ronin here, and I'll let my past six self explain him a little bit more better to you. So Haku Ronin, let's take a look here. I see someone here say sword user meta. It's been a while since we've seen a Haku version. The last one's like kimono slash taisho period. So let's start with this mystery here. Deals damage to a select line in the opponent's field, causes low flow acupuncture to the selected unit, and if the selected unit is suffering from acupuncture, this skill additionally reduces 30% defense and resistance of all units hit, stackable up to two times until the end of the next round. That's pretty good. He's got a mystery cooldown of one, which means he's going to be able to spam this quite a lot. Also, like, I noticed that he can actually select a whole line. That's like something you don't see a lot. Like, instead of just selecting... Well, you're going to select one unit, but he's going to hit that entire line, so... It's like a directed AoE. Pretty cool to see. Now, his standard's pretty normal. It just causes three combo low flow and acupuncture. His chase is also pretty normal. Like, his chase isn't anything special. But then we get to his passive one. So before executing his mystery, Haku deals damage up to four units in the opponent's lineup. Okay, that's pretty good. Causes high flow to one random unit and then activates the, his barrier, which lasts until the end of the round. While the barrier is active, all ninjas in the opponent's field that don't have sword user attribute can't execute their standard attacks if their chakra is below 50. So this is kind of like giving the entire opponent field fear if they have under 50 chakra. I guess it could be useful for like early rounds. I'm not entirely too sure how well it will work in actual battle, but it is definitely an interesting concept. And then his passive 2 is at the beginning of every round, Haku and one random sword user will have all their debos cancelled and their crit rate increased by 50 or 40% until the end of the round. And also Haku gets endurance until the end of the next round. So that's actually really good. Like, he's going to be pretty dang tanky. And Endurance, by the way, if you guys don't remember, remember is it makes it so that the damage received is reduced by 45%. However, when you do use a Mystery, it gets cancelled. So that's the little catch for it. But yeah, you can see that Haku definitely has their own uses. I'm not... I don't think they're going to be powerful enough for the actual meta. They're definitely good, just... The only really great thing about them is their ability to get like 60% defense and resistance um, reduction on the opponents with their mystery. But other than that, their skills are kind of lackluster. The barrier is cool, but it's more like a gimmick. I don't think it's going to be too big of an impact since people are mostly going to have over 50 chakra. But if you make a team around that, it could be pretty nice, I guess. 
Now along with Haku, we also got some leaks out here. So first of all, there's going to be a new Naruto. He looks kind of like the Killer B. What was that Killer B called? The like celebration looking one? B New Year. He kind of looks like B New Year. I, I don't know how to explain it. Here's a little picture of it. So maybe it's probably going to be like a Naruto New Year if I had to guess. Um, but some other things that have come out in CN is that we're going to be getting a new tier of these chakra rooms inside of 8 gates in here. I have not touched this in a very long time just because it takes a lot. I have enough to get enough now. Uh, but apparently there's going to be a new tier for this. I just assume it's going to be like one extra level for us to upgrade. I'm not too sure if I have any of these actually maxed out here. I know the, the I know I have this one maxed out, but none of the mythic ones. They're like the red ones have been maxed out for me. So yeah, but if you guys have maxed this out, the new update will allow you to get one more level for your chakra runes here. There's apparently going to be four more secret scrolls. The, these are like all the ones that we have so more so apparently a couple more in here as well there is the new equipment this actually came out a couple of weeks ago but i never covered it in cn but they actually got even more ninja exams so there's another level for their ninja exam yet there i'm not even close to it to be honest and then after that there's even a new data row with a new debuff that comes with them called clay attachment it will apparently cause 15% max life damage up to 20k at the end of each round. It cannot be resisted or dispelled. And if it kills an enemy, the enemy cannot be revived. And last but not least of the leaks is Onoki. This is like probably New Year Onoki as well. So lots of New Year ninjas coming out, I think. Now you can actually take a look at this week's events here. The rest of them, I guess. So they have 7 days of welfare in here, which is pretty nice. Make sure that if you guys are doing your refines, because there's a refine rebate, you do it on the day that it's refinement. I don't remember which one it is. I think it's 5 or 6, one of these. But yeah, that one just gives you a little bit extra more refines on that day. You get like a double rebate. It's pretty nice. There's also a Sakura's Gift in here, which they have decent power items in here. But the ninjas, I'm not a huge fan of. Like... None of these ninjas I really need in here, so I'll just be taking power items. I've been actually playing on a new server recently, getting ready for a upcoming video because I need to prep for it. Or I do like the first, pff, I don't even know, I was going to say 14 days of a new server, but I think I might just go into like level 80 or something. Um, so I'm just like making sure I go through a server first so I know what I'm doing since everything's changed so much. These new refine optional packs, these are actually really good for new players. They drop like 10 basic refined reps, which is insane. As well as like 6 medium ones, these are pretty nice for the lower level players to pick up. Missions is actually pretty good as well because they have given us these powerful item optional packs in here. So these are a bit like the ones that you get from Lucky Stars, just toned down a little bit. They still give a good amount of training potions. And it's like a great way to get power for free, basically, because you can get a thousand, a thousand, a hundred. I don't remember the exact amount. I think it was like a thousand two hundred or something in this event. So that's going to get you like 12 of these packs. 240 training potions, no joke. That's like 2,000, almost 3,000 coupons worth. So very nice. And then there's also this pack. This pack is great for people who don't have Genma because I've seen a lot of people who don't have Genma and they're struggling in the Infinite Illusion. If you guys need Genma, he's in this event. Like, this is your chance to get him in here. So honestly, I think this mission is really great. The the ninjas in here are okay, but it's mainly these two. I guess um, Jiraiya Wright is also great for the chase version of Infinite Illusion if you need him. Next up, we have Fateful Choice in here. The modder in here is pretty nice. He's extremely expensive though. Like you only get like two of his fragments for free, which is unfortunate as I am working towards him. But other than that, nothing too crazy in here. Like there's GNW, Obito, and Prosperous Times in here, but I'm mainly just going for a modder since that's who I need right now. I believe they actually updated the Lucky Snatch pack in here. So I'll put the new thing down here. I don't remember what it is off the top of my head, but as far as I remember, it's nothing too crazy. And then there's also a Jiraiya um, Tochan inside this bait, which I don't know if I want to show you guys this or if I want to save it for a future video. I'm not too sure. I really want to show you guys. You probably 
Uh, I think I'll, I'll save it for a future video because this is it's not gonna happen for like another six months or so until I save enough. But there's something there's something cr pretty crazy coming in the near future. I'll just save that. Now Lucky Board is back again. This event still needs to be revitalized a little bit. If they could put like that pack or like put alternate items in it, like instead of just the what do you call it, like these basic power items, like they put. I don't know, they put like some non-orthodox power items in there and then put them into the Lucky Board. Might make this event a little bit more appealing. As of now though, it's just been a little lackluster. Nothing that really makes you want to spend in this event. This used to be one of my favorite events, so hopefully they do something about that soon, because they are doing like upgrades to events. And then as we mentioned, there was Refinery, which I also saw this, this is pretty funny. Five training potions for putting 800 refinements in, that's a crazy deal, dude. Absolutely insane. And so yeah, that was all the events that we have so far, but in a few days we're going to be able to get more. Quite excited. They do often like a nice event cycle around Christmas, so hopefully we'll have enough coupons by then to save up, get something good. I actually don't even know who I want to get anymore. Most of the ninjas that I want are all like completely pay to win, like Pain Tendo, Rochimaru G and W, so things like that gonna be very difficult to actually get them so we'll just have to wait and see what comes in the fuku in the following weeks anyways if you guys just want to hang out chat get, maybe get like team advice i'll put my discord in the description below so you guys can join there but that is going to be it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and i will see you guys next time peace out